What's up everyone? Welcome to my 24th JavaScript tutorial. And this tutorial is on something called event handlers. See, I got something in my YouTube inbox from some uh person named Alt Q2001 and it says, "Dude, you need to do one on buttons and interactive effects." So, all right, Alt Q2001 here is your tutorial, or at least one of the many I'm going to be making on interactive effects and buttons. Like I said, if you guys want to see a tutorial, just let me know and I'll make it for you. Now, get your notepad open, and I know it's been a long time since we made a JavaScript tutorial, but make a basic HTML document with just a body. Now, as you can see, we don't have the basic script tags that we used to do. And this is not a mistake. I'm doing this for a reason. Whenever, or I'm not going to say all the time, but in the beginning, when we're working with an event handler, this is one of the rare situations where you can actually code JavaScript without putting it directly inside script tags. Now, instead of just talking, let me actually show you guys what I mean. Go ahead and inside your body, and make sure it's inside your body and not your head. Go ahead and make a simple form. Now, you can make event handlers and rollovers and a lot of different things. But for this use, we're just going to be putting it in a basic form. In case I didn't describe or you guys don't know what an event handler is yet, it's pretty much all the interactive stuff with JavaScript. Say, once you click a box or a link or something then a message pops up or if you want to scroll over something it changes to a different picture that's what we're going to be making today so anyways back to this go ahead and create your basic form make your opening tag and your closing tag and inside your form you're going to want to put a basic input and to do that just type input and if you don't know what any of this is make sure you watch my x html tutorials and i'll explain it right in there now there's many different things you can put inside a form oops i put oh that's right actually and there's many different things as i was saying you can put inside a form right now i'm going to be putting a basic input button so do that type type then type button and this will give you a basic button on your form. Now, right now, let me just go ahead and close this and show you guys what it is. I'll open it up in Firefox. This is my button right here. You can click it, and not a lot happens, as you can see. So it's pretty boring right now. But now we want to encode JavaScript in this to make something actually happen. Make this uh, button start coming to life. So to do this, we need to embed some JavaScript code, and to do that, you add a other attribute to your input box, and this is the on click attribute. Now, this isn't a variable or anything else. This is actually built-in JavaScript code that we're using. What this says is on click, whenever you click this item, which is in this case the button, we want you to do something. Now the computer is saying, all right, what do you want me to do? Well, we're going to tell you. To do this, go ahead and put an equal sign, quotation marks. I got in trouble for that, too. I kept calling them parentheses in my last tutorials. And if I call them parentheses, I pretty much just call everything parentheses, <laughs> no matter what it is. So just bear with me if I accidentally call it parentheses. But in these quotation marks, type in window alert and if you watch my last JavaScript tutorials you know this is pretty much just a basic alert box and what exactly do we want to alert um let's hurt hey now brown cow let me move this box over so you can see and add one of those babies and remember to add your, your single quotation marks and I'll tell you why later and of course, once you're done alerting what everyone alert, end with another parentheses. I got it right that time. And then end with your semicolon and quotation marks. And what this does is whenever you click the button, 
you tell in JavaScript to alert hey now brown cow. Now a couple things I want to point out before I actually show you guys what this does because I know you guys are dying to see it. Um, one thing is the rules of quotes apply. As you can see you have double quotes right here and right here. Now usually when you're working with JavaScript you would make any string of text in double quotes but since it's embedded in a double quote you have to make them single quotes so JavaScript doesn't think that this is a quote and this is a quote right here. So just to make sure you don't confuse it uh, just make sure you're obeying your rules of quotes. And another thing I want to point out that if you wanted to you could embed more JavaScript after the semicolon. So you have this JavaScript right here and the semicolon and you can embed some JavaScript right there. Just because it's on one line doesn't mean you're only allowed one line of JavaScript. Remember that a semicolon means move to the next line. So actually if you wanted to put a whole nother statement right here but hey now brown cow and hey take it easy or something else you can do it right there. So now you guys have made your first interactive button. Now let's see if this works like I'm hoping it does. Go ahead and save it and actually since it's already open just go ahead and refresh it. Now when we click the button we get this beautiful little pop-up that says hey now brown cow. Just click OK and your form will continue running to the rest of it. So that's your first tutorial in event handlers and as you can see we are now finally using JavaScript to begin interacting with the computer instead of just having it tell us what to do or we tell it what to do. And uh, this is going to be the first of many interactive tutorials and right now we get to see the true power of JavaScript. So pay attention, study this tutorial Make sure you learn the basics of event handlers. And in my next tutorial, we'll be discussing this a little bit more. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.